Hi, I'm Vaishali Shroff. I write children's books and today I'm going to talk to you about You guessed that right. I'm going to be talking about dinosaurs. Some more dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Yes, this session is going to be all about dinosaurs. But these are not the books that I'm going to talk to you about. I'm going to be talking to you about a very special book, The Adventures of Padma and a Blue Dinosaur, written by me, published by HarperCollins India in 2018, and illustrated by the brilliant Savidha Mistri. Okay, now if you Google for books on dinosaurs, there'll be thousands and thousands of books that have already been written about dinosaurs. Then why? One more book. Why did I write a book about dinosaurs? And what you saw was just a fraction of my collection on dinosaur books. See, from 2011 to 2015, when my oldest son was a little young, uh, all we read was about dinosaurs. Like, dinosaurs ruled our bookshelf. And uh, we had so many books uh, about dinosaurs from all over the world. But there were, there were only a couple of books that mentioned two or three dinosaurs that were discovered in India. And... Uh, I didn't think much about it then uh, until the year 2016 where we went uh, on a road trip to Gujarat and uh, we stumbled upon this amazing place, a natural dinosaur fossil site in Balasinor and I was shocked. I had never heard of this place. I never knew that fossil sites existed in India and I don't think many people uh, did. And uh, and I was like, this is something that not just children, everybody in the country ought to know because we have such a rich fossil heritage. Uh, we more than about, uh, say, 20 to 25 species of dinosaurs have been discovered in India. And uh, I, I thought to myself that this is something that has to be written about. We, children ought to talk about our dinosaurs, dinosaurs that, uh, you know, roamed uh, the Indian subcontinent millions and millions of years ago. And uh, HarperCollins called me that, you know, would you like to do a book about dinosaurs? And I, was, I couldn't have been happier. And here it is. So before I get started, I have a friend with me today. Uh, His name is Raja and uh, he's going to help me to tell you the story. Why don't you say hello to them? You're on camera. <laughs> don't worry. That's just his way of saying hello, okay? And he's going to come in later uh, in this, uh, when, uh, later towards, towards the end when I'm going to do a fun thing, uh, like a fun quiz kind of a thing. Uh, and he's going to be helping me with that. Till then, he's going to keep an eye on me if I'm going to tell you the story uh, properly, okay? Raja, you sit here for a moment, okay? All right. So, uh, coming back to the book. Now, this book is not only about Padma's adventure, but after page 53, uh, it's all about you enter a very different world you enter a world of indian dinosaurs this this part is a is a has wealth of information about dinosaurs discovered in india just everything about them right from uh, the evolution of dinosaurs till the extinction of dinosaurs till what kind of dinosaurs were discovered in India what kind of fossils were discovered where they were discovered who discovered them uh, how are dinosaurs named you know uh, dinosaurs have such tongue twisting <laughs> funny names and uh, you know how are they named there is a there's a very scientific way of uh, naming dinosaurs so uh, so there's a chapter on that would you like to be a paleontologist? So there's a chapter on how you can uh, actually be a paleontologist, what, what kind of courses you can take up, how do you actually excavate fossils from a fossil site, what is the procedure, what is the process, who does it, what kind of tools do you use. There's a chapter on that, 
Then there is a wonderful interview with uh, Alia Babi, who is a princess of Balasinor and who is a local guardian of all the, dino the dinosaur fossil site over there. And a whole lot more. So before I come to that session, I'm going to take you along. Uh, we shall all go together with Padma and the dinosaur along the adventure. Are you ready? I am. Okay. So this story is about Padma, who is a curious little girl living in uh, Balasanor, Rayoli, uh, with her grandmother, Labuben. Now, Labuben works in a field and after her work is done, she takes the cows to graze uh, to a flatland uh, which is very close to her house. And what does Padma do? Padma joins her grandmother uh, where, to the flatland where, where they go for grazing. So, let's see that in the book. Okay, that's Labuben. That's Labuben. And that's her herd of cows. And you see over here, that's, that's Padma. Okay. She's, she's coming back from school and she's telling Labubin, wait for me, I want to come with you to the flatland. Now at the flatland, there are lots and lots of rocks, okay, interspersed with tall grass. And Padma loves rocks. And these are not just ordinary rocks. They are rocks with secrets and she sees these uh, very strange carvings on the rocks and all she does is she opens a school bag, removes a piece of chalk and starts drawing various creatures around those carvings. Now when Labubin looks at the carvings, she is a little surprised. She tells her that Padu, she calls Padma Padu, Padu your creatures on the rocks look like makaras. And Padma is like, makaras? I've never heard of them. So the makaras were the vahanas of, or the vehicles of our, of Indian gods and goddesses. And uh, they had, uh, they had mixed bodies, you know, they had like the head of a, an elephant, the body of a fish and the tail of a crocodile. And isn't that how Dinosaurs look like, yeah, very different. They looks like they look like a few animals put together. And uh, Padma didn't know what they were, and until one day she met Professor Rajan Dinkar. He was a paleontologist. Now, who's a paleontologist? Paleontologist is someone who discovers dinosaur fossils, and he used to work at that flatland and he was discovering and he was working, he was excavating the rocks, he was excavating at the site, site looking for dinosaur fossils. And uh, he told Padma that her drawings looked like dinosaurs. And Padma was like, Dino what? And he said, dinosaurs. And then Professor Dinkar, who Padma fondly called Rock Uncle, he kept telling her more and more about dinosaurs. He showed her books, he showed her pictures about them and she got more and more curious and started reading a lot about them. And then one day, something fascinating happened and this is like the turning point in the story. Padma and Labubain are walking back. They're going back home after grazing, after the cows have finished grazing and suddenly, Padma sees something that she has never seen before. She sees a big rock with a lot of rings around it. Okay? And she calls Rock Uncle, you know, Rock Uncle, come here. Look at this. There's something that we've never seen before. And Rock Uncle rushes to the side. Now, this is something that I'll read to you from the book. And uh, yes, so Labubain is telling Padma that it's time to head back. And then let's see what happens. Time to head back, Padu, Labubain called out. She did not know how to read or write, but she could tell the exact time of the day looking at the sky. <clears throat> Excuse me. As they were walking back to gather the cows, Padma stumbled upon a rock that was nestled in a bed of grass. It had circles all over it. Rock, uncle, please come here. Look at this rock. 
It's unlike anything I've ever seen before. Padma called out anxiously. Rock Uncle hurried to the spot. As he stood by Padma and Labubin staring at the rock, his eyes slowly widened and his jaw dropped. His chisel slid off his hands and fell to the ground. Eggs! You've discovered a whole nest of dinosaur eggs. This is no ordinary rock, Padma, Rock Uncle exclaimed excitedly. Padma could not believe that there was a whole nest of eggs embedded in that rock. Eggs that could tell a lot about what had happened tens of millions of years ago. Now look at this. Can you see the rocks here? And the eggs? I'd love to hold a dinosaur egg. I've only seen it in books, Padma said. Rock Uncle hurried back to where he had kept his bag. He opened an old metal suitcase with rusty hinges and held out a grey coloured overstone. Keep this dinosaur egg. I discovered many eggs last month, but this one is special. Rock Uncle said as he gently handed, over, handed it over to Padma. Look here, can you see how excited and thrilled she is to hold the dinosaur egg? Now who wouldn't be, isn't it? Wow, is that really for me? Thank you, Rock Uncle. This is so precious, Padma said, unable to believe that she was holding an actual dinosaur egg in her hands. It's precious indeed. Generally, eggs are found in clusters. When I discovered this egg, it was the only one in the pit. It was surrounded by the fossilized bones of a carnivorous dinosaur, exclaimed Rock Uncle. Explained Rock Uncle, sorry. It could have survived an attack. It is really special, said Padma, hugging the egg. Now, Padma looks like your scary animals are going to jump right out of the rocks and pounce on my poor cows. We better hurry before it gets too dark, said Labubain as she started to usher the herd out of the flat van. The sun was setting and the sky had turned a beautiful shade of vermilion. Labubain and Padma smiled as they waved goodbye to Rock Uncle. Padma held the dinosaur egg very carefully. This was one egg she could not afford to break. As Padma and her grandmother walked away, the tinkling of the cow bells slowly faded into the night, and Padma's mysterious makaras sat quietly on the rocks, staring at the stars in the darkening sky. Okay, so now Padma, with the egg in her hand, and Lavubain are happily going back home. Now what does, what, does, what does happen after they reach home? Padma couldn't sleep. There's, after all, a dinosaur egg in the house. Now what would be the first train of thoughts that hit your uh, little mind if, if you were to have a dinosaur egg in your hand? I would think, what is there inside the egg? Obviously, there is no real dinosaur, but what dinosaur is it? Is it a herbivore? Is it a carnivore? Is it uh, something that people have never seen? Is it a flying dinosaur? Now, Labubain and Padma are constantly arguing. Labubain says it's a makara, but Padma says it's a dinosaur. And they keep imagining wonderful things. And they imagine a dinosaur with wings, uh, a genie coming out of an egg like like a genie coming out of a bottle and they have a wonderful time discussing what could be inside the egg but then it's exhausting and Labubain urges Padma to go to sleep. Now they go to sleep but the next morning is a very different morning after all. Does this look like a village? No. There's a house. Where are the cotton fields outside the house? Where is the flat land? All there was was a dense, dark forest with trees that they had never seen before. Big ferns and uh, conifers and cycads and a big bed of roots on which, which had replaced all the mattresses in the house. And there is Rock Uncle. So there is only Rock Uncle, Ba and Padma. And who is this? Who is this strange creature that's popping its head out from between the trees? Now they were joined by a blue dinosaur. And what had happened? Yes, 
they had time travel to more than 65 million ago, years ago when they were dinosaurs, right? To the Cretaceous period. Now, what are they supposed to do? Why is this dinosaur here? Now, this dinosaur was looking for his mama. He kept saying, you, me, mommy, you, me, mommy. And then Padma, Labu Bain, and Rock Uncle decided that yes, they will help Blue Thingosaurus, and that is what they named him, uh, uh, on a journey to look for his family, right? And then they set off on an adventurous journey along the Narmada River to find Blue Thingosaurus' family. Now, why the Narmada River? Now, the Narmada River, it's a very interesting fact, uh, runs from the east to the west, the only river in our country that we runs from east to west and it uh, crosses the states of Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat and, and Maharashtra and this is where most of the dinosaurs in our country have been discovered. It's one of the most sedimentary rich bells and which is where fossils have been found. Now what on their journey? On their journey they reach a kingdom, the kingdom of King Jabalpuria. Now Jabalpur uh, was a place where the first dinosaur fossil was discovered in India and that is why I call the kingdom near Jabalpuria. A little secret, okay? And along the journey, we are not just going to find good dinosaurs, right? They are going to find the bad guys, the carnivores, okay? And how do they battle them? They needed two big, strong dinosaurs at least to help them tide that journey. And they told the king of Jabalpuria, that we will cook you a meal of a lifetime for you. Please, 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 can you give us dinosaurs that can help us along the journey? And they cook a fabulous meal with whatever ingredients they had. And look at the king. He's lapping up everything that Ba, Labu, ba La, and uh, Rock Uncle and Padma have cooked. And then he agrees that, yes, I will sa send two of my best dinosaurs, Mahan and Bahu, with you. And he will, they will help you find Blue Thingosaurus' family. So off they're on their journey. And along their journey, they encounter the bad guys, the carnivores, and the biggest giant of them all, the Rajasaurus Narmadensis. Okay? And, but do, do they find the family? Do they find Blue Thingosaurus' family? Yeah? So for that, you'll have to read this book and let's straight get into, I hope you like the story. When you read the adventure, it's a lot more interesting and because there are a lot of interesting things happening along the way, the, the way the Cretaceous period has been described, the, how, how the landscape was in those times, what kind of dinosaurs existed in India. Uh, it's all too fascinating. And now we move on to the non-fiction side of the story, all about Indian dinosaurs. I've already told you a bits about it. Now what are we going to do? We're going to bring my friend Raja back. Hello, Raja. And he's going to give me a few questions. Yes, he's going to ask me some questions. And I hope I can answer them. And uh, let's see what his first question is. Mm. All right. Let's see. I hope it's not too difficult. And after this, I have a lovely surprise to show you. So keep watching. When was the first dinosaur discovered in the world and in India? Well, the first dinosaur was discovered in the world in 1824 in Britain and the first dinosaur fossil was discovered in India in 1828, just four years after the first dinosaur fossil was ever discovered in the world. Now, can you see how important our fossil heritage is? And it was discovered in the Bara Shimla region, Jabalpur in Madhya Pradesh, okay? And that dinosaur fossil was of the Titanosaurus indicus, one of the largest dinosaurs in the world. Okay, now what is the 
Next question. All right. Which was the largest dinosaur and smallest dinosaur to have been discovered in India? Okay, the biggest dinosaur to have been discovered in India was the, say with me, Bruhat Gayo Saurus Metley. Bruhat Gayo Saurus Metley. Isn't it a big name? Bruhat means huge, large. Gayo means body. And Saurus means a lizard, means a large bodied lizard in Sanskrit. And uh, Metley is a sedimentary formation where it has been discovered. Now, this dinosaur was supposed, was uh, estimated to be around 30 times, 30% 30 more than the Argentinosaurus, larger than the Argentinosaurus, uh, which was at one point the largest dinosaur in the whole world. Okay. Now, the smallest dinosaur to have been discovered in India is the Alvacaria malariensis. And this was the only dinosaur to be discovered, uh, which belonged to the Triassic period, which is more about 250 million years ago. And you know what is special about this? It is so small. It's about 1.5 meters in length. And it could be like hiding under your sofa or your chair. And its, its head is only as big as a duck. That's how small it is. So not all dinosaurs are large creatures, okay? And let's move on to the next question. Mm. How are dinosaur eggs of herbivores different from carnivores? Okay, so dinosaur eggs of herbivores, uh, herbivores or sauropods as they are called, are obviously a lot larger because the dinosaurs themselves are a lot bigger and they are more rounded and they are known as megalolithic eggs okay and the dinosaur eggs of carnivores or theropods or as they are known as are more oblong or elongated and they are also known as elongolu elongotu lithis eggs okay now that was quite a tongue twister so next question please <laughs> Okay, where is the second largest fossil site in the world? Now, Rahioli uh, in Gujarat, where the story is set, is the second largest fossil site in the world. Can you believe that? And most of us didn't even know about it. There's another f fossil site in uh, Madhya Pradesh and also in uh, um, Telangana. Okay. Now, do we have more questions? Do we have more questions? How many more questions, Raja? Okay. What are the different kind of fossils that have been discovered in India? Okay. Now, interesting questions. What kind of dinosaur fossils have been found? So, we have found bones, which are limb bones. Uh, we found vertebrates, that is the backbone, uh, teeth, uh, claws, and uh, skull bones. Yeah. And... A very interesting fossil has been discovered and I'm going to show it to you. Can you see this fossil here? What do you think it is? Any guesses? That is dinosaur poop. That's right. Thank God it's not stinking. But yes, that's dinosaur poop and it is a very important fossil. Um, to, ha to have been discovered because from dinosaur poop uh, we can we can tell whether the dinosaur was a herbivore or a carnivore because you can see over here uh, you know a lot of uh, leaves and fish bones and etc are um, embedded inside this and uh, from the f you can tell what kind of food they ate and and what kind of dinosaurs they were so yes Isisaurus, that is the species of dinosaur uh, that is the main character of our book, Blue Thingosaurus, uh, that was discovered with the help of its poop. Fascinating, isn't it? Next question. Do we have more questions? Uh, who is the T Rex of India? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. That's the Rajasaurus narmadensis, and that's the T Rex of India. So it has a little crown over here, 
like a little bit of a bump and it looks like a crown and that is why it's called the Rajasaurus and it was discovered along the Narmada river and that's why it's called the Rajasaurus Narmadensis. All right. Thank you, Raja. They were interesting questions, isn't it? And now for the final surprise. We have dinosaurs in the house. I didn't tell you that. Yes, I have a few of them. Now this is a real dinosaur fossil bone. And thanks to uh, Mr. Suresh Srivastava, uh, he was the paleontologist who discovered the Rajasaurus and other species. And he has generously uh, lent me these dinosaur fossils so I can show them to children when I travel across the country. Uh, talking about my book so here you see is the backbone and this is like a ball and socket joint here so this is how they connect and you can imagine more and more and more bones uh, forming the neck or the back of the dinosaur this is an ankle bone you see it clearly yeah. and this is another limb bone okay This is the backbone again. And so who do you think these dinosaur bones belong to? Well, you can't tell, but all I can tell you is that they belong to a carnivore because it would be impossible to get or carry around bones of sauropod dinosaurs there because they are huge. And what else? Um, one more question that I have for you. Can you tell me how many bones there are in a dinosaur's body? Yeah, they are huge. And how many? So I'll tell you that there are 206 bones in a human body. How many bones in a dinosaur body? Any guesses? All right. There are 200 bones in a dinosaur body. I have I've read I have asked these questions to so many children and they would tell me thousand bones and two thousand bones and because you imagine right that such a huge creature would probably have a lot more bones than uh, we do but no there are only two about 200 bones uh, in a in an adult dinosaur's body. So yes this was my surprise and now you can tell your friends that you have seen real dinosaur bones. I hope you enjoyed the adventures of Padma and a blue dinosaur. And as HarperCollins says, this book is available anywhere where books are sold. And you can find it at bookstores. Uh, you can find it online on Amazon and other uh, online sites as well. And if you like this book, please buy it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed reading it. If you would like to ask me any questions about the book, you can write to me at, um, at my author page, Vaishali Shroff Author. And you can inbox me with the help of your parents. And I will gladly answer your questions. Mm -hmm. And uh, Raja and me. Raja has something to tell you, actually. Stay safe. And stay healthy, okay? Stay inside your homes and do not forget to wash those hands. 20 seconds, remember? Roar! <laughs> bye, I say bye. Go home and read books on dinosaurs because we are the best. Bye. <laughs> Take care, be safe, be healthy.